Hi, welcome back to my air engine research shop. Today, I just had a little bit of extra time. I thought I'd show you my three cylinder that I worked on a few days ago. This is the one I want to put back in that old lawnmower body. I, I did a video a couple weeks back with the old four cylinder engine that didn't work very well. So I wanted to try this three cylinder one that I had made some years back. I got it out and went through the valves to make sure they worked okay after setting for a while. And I think it works pretty good. It starts and stops every time too, just like the six cylinder. This actually is a three cylinder but since it has an oval ring, I have it set up so that it acts like a six cylinder. Each time it makes one revolution, it pushes two times with each piston. So the same thing as a six cylinder, but they're not, not lined up to uh, fire at the same time. So they fire in different places on the ring. So it's not like two of them pushing just opposite each other. It only pushes one cylinder at a time, different places. I think it seems to run pretty good. Uh, there are times when it doesn't want to start, but I guess that's just something to do with, with the position of my cylinders. I don't know. But all in all, I think it runs fair. Well, I changed uh, the position and put it on the thing, and I did some balancing. That runs considerably better. At least it's balanced now, which it wasn't earlier. Yeah, that, that runs pretty good. And that was running at wide open at 150 PSI. So I don't know if it's going to have to be on 200 or not when I run it. That we will see when the time comes. Well, now that I've got my engine running pretty good, I've taken it outside and I'm going to see about putting it on that old lawnmower. So, Well, I've got everything hooked up. I don't know what to expect. First time for everything. I hope my air lines don't blow off or something. But, uh, like I said the last time, I guess we'll see if it's going to fly. Got it set on 150 PSI.
Yeah, well, it's down to 200 in the tank, so. I don't know, I just thought it would go faster than that. I still don't have enough RPMs, I guess. Now, I'm not sure, too, now, if I have that pressure flow regulator, that makes any difference. Okay, now I got straight from the tank, straight to the motor without a pressure regulator. And it's got about 400 PSI in the tank. So we'll see if that makes it go any any faster or any better. I'm not sure about the lines again. They'll take 450 or not. We'll see. it anyway. Yeah, that's a little bit too high or too low a gear ratio. I can lower that down and put a little bigger gear on it. Still I think have enough power to go. You can see the difference that that pressure regulator makes just doesn't want to let it go. Well, you saw that it runs. It didn't quite uh, go as fast as I thought I uh, would like to have. I'm thinking maybe I need to have a little bigger pistons in it. And I'm going to have to run a little bit higher pressure. Uh, that was around 300 PSI that time on the last run. I mean, it has a fair amount of uh, power. I'm still uh, working on the six cylinder for my Volkswagen, but that's going to be a while. I need to get this pressure regulator, flow regulator done. The one that I have purchased, it just did not allow enough volume. So, got to get that done first. The uh, gear ratio, I can 
pump that up just a little bit. That would make it go a little bit faster. And also the little bit higher pressure would, would add to it too. But for now, I guess just uh, thanks for checking in again. And any new viewers, if you'd like to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And if you do, be sure you check that little bell at the top so you'll be notified whenever I put out a new video.